Fanatec is synonymous with sim racing. All of us know lots of people who use Fanatec gear, and today I'm going to give you five lesser known reasons why Fanatec made it so big. I'm Lawrence, welcome to the channel. First and foremost, Fanatec is huge because of its incredible ecosystem. They have countless numbers of steering wheels and they even have lots of steering wheel bases, pedal sets and of course a shifter and a handbrake. All of these connect together so once you're in that ecosystem it's very easy to just stay in that ecosystem. All of your steering wheels fit pretty much every wheelbase and all the pedals, handbrake, shifter, everything connects into every single wheelbase that they do. Fanatec is constantly innovating. It seems like in the last year they've made so many various announcements that they're constantly just looking to push the boat out. Meanwhile, their competitors are really struggling. Most Fanatec users actually know that their gear isn't the absolute best that's available out there. And if you ask someone, well, why don't you upgrade, even if they can afford it, it's usually because they like the ecosystem. Ecosystem is a huge part of Fanatec's success. Point number two is compatibility. So not just compatibility across the various wheelbases and steering wheels and all that kind of stuff, but the main compatibility thing, of course, is console support. Fanatec is one of only three big manufacturers that supports console and the other two are Logitech and Thrustmaster and they haven't even entered the direct drive race yet. It also seems like for every one product Thrustmaster brings out, Fanatec brings out six or seven or ten of them. It's difficult to keep up at times. This compatibility kind of relates back to what we said in the previous point where everything connects into the wheelbase. That means that you only really have to worry about the connection between the wheelbase and your PC or your console. If everything connects into the wheelbase, then you don't need to worry about that little slice of functionality. Of course, with the Logitech G wheels, everything connects into the base itself, but they're the only things that you can actually connect into those slots. You can't swap out your pedals for another set of Logitech pedals because there just are none. Fanatec also makes a point of working with absolutely every sim that we use. Stuff like Forza is all very, very easy to set up. They've really nailed the whole compatibility thing. Point number three is the company structure. Now you might say company structure, how do you know about the company structure? But just basically from a consumer point of view, what we see, we don't see Fanatec selling in the high street, which is kind of a little bit of a pity, but it also means that they can save some money by not having to deal with retailers. Everything is shipped from their hubs. Fanatec has four websites. There's the US, the EU, there's Japan, and there's Australia. This makes it all very consumable for the people who live in those regions because everything is in their price and they can see their local stock. Now it gets slightly more complicated with Fanatec because they do have some resellers like Digital Motorsports who carry stock and are allowed to sell through their stores. All in all, Fanatec has done a great job of structuring their company in such a way that they have access to lots of markets. So we don't think of Fanatec as a company that's based in Germany and everything comes from Germany. If people in the US are ordering, generally they kind of feel like it's coming from the US, which is a good company structure. Of course, they've worked very, very hard to even get into that position. Fanatec was actually founded in 1997. That's 25 years ago. So even though a lot of you may have only heard about Fanatec in the last two years, They've done this for a long time. This vast experience allowed Thomas to really kind of prepare the company for the growth that he knew was in store. And it's not just the last two years that Fanatec has been growing. Despite a couple of difficult years early on, Fanatec has kept growing and growing and growing and now it's a household name. Their company structure allows them to move relatively quickly compared to Logitech and Thrustmaster who are bound by a lot more red tape and I guess that corporate structure. Fanatec is a purely sim racing company and that's very very important to remember. Sim racing is their bread and butter whereas like Logitech does keyboards and headsets and all that kind of stuff and Thrustmaster has lots of other products as well. Fanatec is pure sim racing so sim racing is at the core of what they do so when they need to move fast they can move very very quickly without having to follow too much protocol as such. The next reason Fanatec is so successful is because they're not afraid to work with influencers. Now influencers is a term that I generally just despise, but it is true. People who use the gear, who, people who have a following, people who stream and do videos, when they show that they're using XYZ Fanatec product, then people are going to say, well, Will Ford uses this, or Jimmy Broadbent uses this, or Dave Cam uses this, or whatever. Just seeing who else I can name drop. 
Fanatec, like many other companies, has a great track record of sending out equipment, especially to smaller channels or channels that are growing, and those people that are in that community of that channel grow with it and they associate that growth and that success with the company. So those people, generally the people who follow a channel, like to follow the hardware that the person who runs that channel actually uses. By getting in there with a channel and supplying them with the amazing ecosystem that they have to offer, they can not only cater to the driving styles and the needs of the influencer, but they can also cater to a vast array of things that their followers might actually want. If you compare this to say Simicube who start at the high end, Fanatec start at the very low end. So if an influencer is using a top end Fanatec product, at least you're associated with the brand and then getting back to that earlier point about the ecosystem, if you buy into those things, you can use your same steering wheel. If you're on a CSL Elite right now, but you want to upgrade to a DD1, you can use that same steering wheel and just put it across on the new unit. Compare this to Thrustmaster who have a relatively close-knit group of people who use Thrustmaster products. From what I've seen, people who use Thrustmaster products use Thrustmaster products exclusively and it seems to me like Fanatec doesn't actually corner people like that. Again, this is just me speculating and saying it as I see it. I'm very open to correction in the comments below. At the end of the day, having a good relationship with an influencer is worth far more than any amount of billboards or television advertising or anything else that you can do because those influencers really get looked up to by the people who follow their channels and in general in sim racing influencers are extremely honest and if they don't like something even if they're using a fanatic product and they don't like something, they tend to be quite vocal about that and then that's where a company like Fanatec is really good at responding with new firmware or new upgrades on the future versions. So the whole community is relatively tight knit but that's largely because of the influencers. If the influencers weren't there, Fanatec would be nowhere near as successful as they are. And finally, the big one, the affiliate program. Fanatec has by far the most lucrative affiliate program out of all sim racing hardware. If somebody uses somebody's Fanatec affiliate link, they get 5% of the sale. So just to put that into perspective, a thousand euro product will get you 50 euro cash in the bank. Now what this does in general is it allows influencers to mention the fact that you'd be supporting the channel, you'd be doing this, you'd be doing that to earn some income for the channel, but obviously Fanatec really wins out. I think it's a very good structure. I have seen a lot of people question how that might impact the actual opinion of the influencer, but from my experience, what people have said and how people actually treat these Fanatec products is pretty honest and pretty open. Again, I'm no expert on this and I'll let you decide in the comments. One could argue that if you're getting an affiliate cut from something, you're gonna say that it's better or you might sugarcoat some of the issues that it has so that you make more sales, but that's a very short term strategy. And in general, from what I see with influencers, they tend to call out the negatives because in the long term, it pays off. From my experience, people in communities really appreciate that honesty more than they appreciate buying something and then finding out that there's actually an issue with it that their favorite influencer didn't mention to them. So that's why I say it's a very short term thing. If you were to just say a product is great just to get the sales, it'll only happen short term. Whereas any influencer who currently has videos out there with Fanatec affiliate links in it, even if they were to stop their channel right now, they would still receive Fanatec commissions for months and months to come as people come across those older reviews, older streams, stuff like that, and they decide to support that channel. Believe it or not, for most channels, the Fanatec affiliate program is actually the main source of income. Of course, again, competitors like Logitech and Thrustmaster do have affiliate programs, but they're a lot more difficult to get into. And because Fanatec has such a good company structure where they own pretty much all the websites that actually sell the products, they can control where the affiliate money goes. So effectively, they're cutting out the middle person. So they're cutting out the high street, they're cutting out the resellers in general. They do have some resellers, but they cut out the resellers in general to allow the influencers to direct the consumers straight to the company. Again, that's a little bit borderline with the whole company structure, but the affiliate programs are vital to Fanatec's success, and more so, they're actually vital to your favorite YouTuber's channel's success. So I know it actually gets pretty annoying when influencers keep talking about their affiliate links, but the truth is that is the way that they generally pay the bills. So the next time they mention their affiliate links, or actually the next time you go to buy a product, do consider does your favorite content creator have an affiliate link for that product. It won't cost you anything extra, but they earn a small commission. The fact of the matter is, with a full-time content creator, 
That is the difference between them creating more content or them going back to a normal job. So all in all, the affiliate program is extremely lucrative for both Fanatec and the influencers. It's a genius move and they've absolutely nailed it. So all in all, Fanatec wins, influencers win, and it's a great system. So that's five of the reasons that Fanatec is doing so well right now. Of course, it's not a perfect brand. Their quality isn't as good as a lot of other brands. There have been talks in the past about their customer support, but in recent times, I've actually seen the customer support being relatively good. Those of you familiar with this channel will know that I only actually have a handful of Fanatec products. I've got a shifter, I've got a handbrake, but I don't have pedals, I don't have a steering wheel, I don't have a steering wheel base. However, if we all had to decide that only one company out of all the sim racing companies that are out there could survive, we would have to choose Fanatec just because of their massive ecosystem, their availability worldwide, and the fact that we know that they're just gonna come out with exciting stuff. With so much success comes a lot of hate as well, and some people do have better experiences than others, but I would ask you, because there are going to be comments down below which are going to be negative, I would ask if you do have positive experiences with Fanatec, do share them down below because it's very, very important to let that be known to people. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. It's something that has been on my list of videos to make for a long time. Uh, do discuss in the comments below and let me know what I got right, what I got wrong. These are all just thoughts from the top of my head. I have zero script. I will show you that I have no script. As I say, I am not an expert on this whole topic. I'm not even a Fanatec shill. I don't have a lot of Fanatec products and I don't have a particularly close relationship with Fanatec. I just think that they are a remarkably interesting and uh, just incredible company. And in my mind, it makes perfect sense why they're dominating. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at nine o'clock GMT. I try to read absolutely every comment that I get on my streams. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Lawrence. I'll chat to you later.